So today during episode 253, we found six pennies that I put to the side that I thought were deserving of a little further research. Now, truth be said, or truth be known, when I put a penny to the side, there's a, there's a much greater than average chance that the penny has no value, right? Um, but this is part of the process of developing as a penny roll hunter, coin roll hunter, someone who's interested in coins, is to learn how to do some research. So, with that said, I have, and I guess because of the ease of use of coppercoins.com's date guide that really you just put in the date and you do a few clicks and you can see if uh, he identifies any errors. Now, with that said, of course, there are many other error websites. Um, but without further ado, let's just check these out. So, and then I'll tell you, well, you can see what you see. And let me look under the loop. I'm going to have to look under the loop at each one of these again. So this one, I guess it has a little bit of a spread. The G has a uh, an extra little bit of a line to the left. That's really about it on this one. Um, I think you can see it there. And and the model has a spread to the uh, to the south, but the G is the only one I, that I can see that has like an extra line. Um, I got my little pointer here. If you can't see it, but I see it in the loop on the left side here. Let me turn it around. Sometimes you can see it when you turn it around. No. Most visible from this angle. All right. So that's that. And that's a, let me move these over. This is a 1968. So we click on 1968. 1DO. Uh, interesting. He has it on, he shows it on the bottom here. Um, let me see if he shows it to the left of the G anywhere. And he shows it to the bottom of the 8. Oh, yeah, he does show it. Okay. Oh, look at that. And I didn't check for the eyelid. So let me show you where he shows it on the, uh, he shows it, and this one he shows it in two places on the G. There, which I think I see, he also points to it there. I don't know if I see it there. It's hard for me to see. So, and he also points to it in the O, which I don't even think I see it in the O. Oh, a little bit to the left, but it's not as it's not that strong. Really, uh, his pitches are, are much stronger. Than so I'm going to say nil on this one. It is a nice looking copper coin, but no error. Next. To 61. All right, maybe it's because of those notches. Well, let's see. Let's go back to 61. One DO. Uh, moderate spread on the date, which we have in model. And LIB of lib. Uh, no, nothing. 
I don't know. This is this is the problem with some of these weak um, tilted hub or deteriorated dies. Is next penny? Is this e so now these? It's much more visible. And I already know where I'm looking for it. And that's in in the model. So either, so that's the 88. Either, the, either he has the 88 with uh, some sort of tilted hub of the model, or he does not. Uh, thickness, extra thickness. Oh, no, no. I, I've seen this one before. No. Oh, he showed the double ear. I don't think I have anything on the ear. Huh. It has a little line on the ear. Let me look at that on the loop. Is that what he was that what he's showing? No, he's showing a real, real hair. Look. His double ear is very, very pronounced. No, I have a little notch. This has a little notch on the ear there. Nothing, nothing very pronounced. <laughs> Let me look at it again. I don't think so. I mean, it's nowhere near what he's showing. No, I'm going to say no to it. And the um, the tilted hub on this one, I didn't think was. I found another one I thought was much better. It's what I use for the um, the thumbnail. Is it this one? Let me see. A year is that nineteen ninety? Let me look at that trust. Yeah, it's the U and the S are really have pretty strong tilts to them. Probably one of my favorite. But let's see if it's identified. What year is it? 90? 90. 90. Extra thickness? No, it's not the extra thickness. Either either he, he shows the spread. No, he doesn't show the spread. He shows extra thickness in trust. I'll show you what he's showing. Extra thickness can be seen. Trust in the lower. That's not what we have. We have a tilted hub. Again, this is, you know, this one just looks nicer than most. That's all. Does it have value? I'm going to say no. But if if he would have showed this specific um, error, you know, or variation of, of uh, strike, then maybe it would have had value, but he doesn't show it. Now, does that mean Conacher or someone else doesn't have it? Eh, maybe, but still, you know, these are pretty weak. That's another one, eighty-seven. I'm going to say that one's weak too. And last but not least, uh, this one has it in the reverse. That's pretty cool. What year is this? Uh, it's another 90. Oh, we're on 90 already. I just have to go to the reverse. 1DR. Oh, it's showing lines in the columns. I didn't even check for that. 
that's all it's really showing is um lines in the bays between the columns for 1990 on the reverse which i don't see I just thought that was pretty cool, and I wanted to see if there was any uh, variation for that. But there's not. Yeah, these these types of errors, you know, the tilted hubs. Most of them are not worth anything. Um, but you st you have, how do you know unless you check, right? So of course it's easy for someone to say, "Hey, that's not worth anything." Yeah, I know, but uh, you know, this is the process of learning. Um, so I would encourage everyone to do research on their interesting pennies that they find today. We didn't find anything of value. Um, maybe next time we will please click like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.